Big Jim was a man we were all proud to know. He was a legend in his own time. There was never a log he couldn't get out or a tree he couldn't climb. He was tough as the timber he'd logged all his life and sort of my hero, I guess. So when he'd tell me something, I'd listen real close and try to do my level best. There was one certain thing that he watched all the time. When the tail blocks were all out and hung, he'd inspect them himself and make sure they were right before the lines were all strung. When that rigging came tight, he'd yell down to me, don't just sit on that log like a lump. Keep your eye on things and make sure that tail hold don't get too high on the stump. That got to be his byline, the saying he used for any situation in life. Even the people who didn't know what it meant, like the banker and the lawyer and his wife. And when I'd ask his advice, like I always did, he'd just give my shoulder a thumb and say, son, things will work out okay if you don't get your tail hold too high on the stump. He'd been acting kind of different those last few days. He just hadn't quite been at his best. But after all, he wasn't a kid anymore, and we just all thought he needed to rest. I thought it was odd when we strung out those lines, and he made us all stand in the clear. He said, keep out of the way, I'm going to check that tail hole, the one way back in the rear. I wanted to watch him, so I walked down a ways, where the ground swelled up into a hump. It's just like him, I thought, to make sure that tail hole is never too high on the stump. Then he stepped back a ways and looked up toward the sky and signaled for the lines to come tight. And the look on his face still haunts me sometimes when I wake up in the middle of the night. Then I noticed something I couldn't believe. I waved and I started to shout. That tail hold was slipping. I wanted to warn him, but the words just wouldn't come out. And when those lines came loose, everything in their path was ripped right out of the ground. And there stood Jim, looking up toward the sky. He didn't even turn around. When they hit him, they threw him a good 200 feet. He lit close by with a thump. He died in my arms, and his last words were, I got my tail hold too high on the stump. It was quite a while before I learned the truth, and then it was from his wife. She said, you see, Jim always wanted to die in the woods where he'd spent most of his life. He had a disease they just couldn't cure, and that's why he acted that way. He made sure no one else would get hurt. You were all well out of the way. He didn't want to die in some hospital bed, and his health had taken a bad slump. And that's why, for the very first time in his life, he got his tail hold too high on the stump. <laughs> 